Charlie Tango 1, this is Tango 1, warning order. Task at O Group this morning is confirmed. R Group to RV at grid Lima Papa Delta, Charlie Alpha November at 1330 hours. In any phase of war, the combat team is capable of providing mutual support and protection for its two elements, armor and mechanized infantry. If a troop and platoon are tasked together as part of a combat team for a particular operation, the combat team commander will consider their individual capabilities. By applying these to the task to be carried out, whether it be defense, withdrawal, or advance, he is able to decide who should command the group, a tank troop leader or a mechanized platoon commander. The overall defense layout of this position is such that the combat team commander has ordered an infantry platoon to be placed under a tank troop leader's command. The troop leader studies the area allocated to him and makes his detailed plan. He works in close conjunction with the platoon commander so that the tanks and infantry can be deployed to the greatest advantage. The successful holding of the position will depend not only on a thorough and mutual understanding of the problems confronting both arms, but also on their ability to resolve them together by teamwork. In making his plan, the troop leader takes into account the main principles of defense. Ground, depth, mutual support, all-round defense, coordinated fire plan, and air defense. Meanwhile, behind the selected defensive position, a hide area is established, which will give natural cover from ground and air observation. Camouflage nets should not normally be attached to vehicles and should not impede the traversing of the turret. They should be arranged to give both overhead and flank cover. Routes in and out of the hide area to the selected fire positions must be recced carefully by both the commanders and the drivers to ensure quick movement at night. We turn off right. You see that white scar over there? Yeah. Keep that on the right-hand side of the tank. We go over the false crest, and in that piece of dead ground there, up to the left, is our fire position, OK? These crew drills in defence are equally important to the mechanised infantry because poor track discipline and insufficient camouflage may result in enemy artillery or air attack. Forward of the hide area, detailed and careful recce of fire positions as outlined by the troop leader must be carried out by each commander. Since tanks are mobile weapons, and should not be limited to static defense, primary and secondary fire positions with alternatives should be selected, and range cards should be made out for each position. At the same time, the infantry is also preparing its main position forward of the hide area. The likely tasks of the infantry are to provide intimate protection for the tanks and to block the main approach leading through the position. Individual commanders of both tanks and infantry should be clear on their arcs of fire and how these tie in with neighboring positions. Routes to alternative positions and areas where tanks may jockey must be clear of infantry positions. The overall plan has now been finalized. As maximum firepower must be brought to bear onto the killing area in front of the platoon position, the troop leader should coordinate his fire plan and issue clear orders about the control of fire. Sergeant Rose, are you quite clear on engagements in the arc overlap? You take on any single target in this sector. 
a final check on your range cards. The three common reference points are Alpha, the road over the crest, Bravo, the barn with a broken roof, Charlie, this prominent bend in the hedge line. Also, a final check in the artillery and mortar support. Check that you have the grid references correct in the DF task list. And with us, we have call signs Golf 31 and India 53 Alpha. The key to success is thorough recce Any with attention to details and careful coordination at all levels. Move now and is to be clear of pig whistle by seven. If for tactical reasons a withdrawal becomes necessary, the combat team commander will lay down the general method of disengagement with routes back and detailed timings. The infantry must be given time to get to its APCs, mount them and move to the rendezvous two bounds back before the tank troop starts its move. On leaving the present position, the troop platoon group will try to achieve a clean break and move straight along a laid down route to the next position. All guns must point to the rear, ready to engage the enemy. This is also an aid to identification during the withdrawal. The tanks withdraw using fire and movement. The covering tank, in this case 1-1 one, one Alpha, moves first to a position one bound back. The troop leader and 1-1 one, one Bravo move through the covering tank on their way to the rendezvous two bounds back. The covering tank joins the troop at the rendezvous and the troop immediately moves off together to the next position. However, if a clean break is not possible, then the force will have to conduct a delaying action. When the APCs have left the rendezvous, the troop will move back using fire and movement to a blocking position which will have been wrecked in advance. When the infantry is firm in the new position, the troop continues to withdraw using fire and movement. A successful defensive battle may lead to offensive action. Combat Team 1 has been ordered to lead the advance and the commander appreciates his task and decides that a troop platoon group will be the leading force. Before the advance begins, it's important that everyone in the operation should fully understand the overall plan. The troop leader then finalizes details, the order of march, the method of movement, timings and specific tasks. Box formation, one bound behind. Troop movement is to be cut... Distances between elements of his force will depend on the type of country, and spacing between vehicles will be dictated by the need for fire support. Finally, watch is synchronized before the old group disperses to make final preparations for HR. Before HR, the tank troop moves up to the start line, followed by the infantry platoon in its APCs.
This is a layout of the leading troop platoon group in open country. The troop leader has adopted a two-up caterpillar formation. The troop sergeants and troop corporals' tanks are leading, covered by fire support from the troop leader's tank, one bound to the rear. The APCs have adopted a box formation, one bound to the rear of the troop leader. Systematic observation is important in an advance. From his own experience of defence, a tank commander will know the places where the enemy may have laid mines and the most likely enemy positions. He may engage such positions by speculative fire, so forcing an enemy, if he's there, to betray himself. Fox, 1100 push, on! 1100 on! Fox! Fox. The troop leader moves up to join the forward tanks on the next plant. As soon as he's in position to cover their move forward, they continue to advance. tank comes under attack. He returns fire, lays smoke, and moves to cover. The covering tank engages the enemy, and 1-1 Alpha moves forward to take up a good fire position on the right flank. Tango 1, this is Tango 1-1. One, one. Contact at 11.20 hours, grid 8-2-7-9-1-7. One anti-tank gun on southern edge of mound. I've returned fire and making plan to deal with it. Over. Tango 1, roger out. The troop leader now makes a combat appreciation. His aim is to destroy the enemy position. And the problems he must consider are the ground and the strength of the enemy force. Hello, Tango 1 and Golf 3-1. This is Tango 1-1. One, one. Citrep, reference contact at grid 827-917. Enemy force consists of two sections dug in with anti-tank weapons. I intend to carry out a quick attack going left flanking. Golf 3-1, be prepared to neutralize for three minutes in six minutes. Over. Tango 1, roger out. Golf 3-1, wait out. The forward observation officer moves up to a position where he can see the target and direct the artillery fire onto it. This is Golf 3-1. Reference target at grid 827-917. Target identified. Be prepared to neutralize for three minutes. At the same time, the platoon commander moves forward to a suitable position so that he too can observe the enemy and familiarize himself with the ground ahead. This is Tango 1-1. Orders. Situation. No change. Mission. Execution, left flanking, assault group. Call signs Tango, one one, bravo. By listening to the APC loudspeakers, the infantry, closed down in its vehicles, gets some idea of the situation as it develops. group moves off to destroy the enemy position led by the intimate support tank.
troop advances, it is covered by the other two tanks in the troop. At the same time, the FOO calls down artillery fire on the objective. P1, six rounds, far for effect, three zero seconds, ever. Combined fire from the artillery and the support tanks is maintained to keep the enemy neutralized during the assault group's advance. fire of the supporting weapons ceases. The firepower of the intimate support tank covers the infantry during the last stages of the attack. Fresh, got one, trenches on, got one, on, on, right now. The support tank has outflanked the position, so it can continue to give support and cut off the enemy's retreat. The assault is over, and the group reorganizes, ready to continue the advance. Hello, Tango 1-1, one, one. this is India 3-1. Position clear. Enemy have withdrawn in a northwesterly direction. You can move up now. Over. Tango 1-1, one, one, roger out. Cooperation between armour and infantry is possible because the two arms are complementary and in Northwest Europe will invariably be grouped together. The success of any operation, whether defence, withdrawal or advance, depends upon detailed recce and careful coordination. This, backed by a combined training for both arms, establishes a mutual confidence. In a withdrawal, the emphasis is on strict control and timing. And during an advance, quick reaction and determination by everyone are all important. The bold use of firepower and speed in the assault will ensure a successful attack.